pi 63111 174 in Siddhanta Kaumadi Dhra is what we're going to be uh, focusing on today. But in order to make sense out of this sutra, <coughs> we need to take a quick look, I think, at two uh, small sutras which are coming up uh, before terribly long in our usual course of uh, study. But we, we need to be aware of them now for this to make sense. <coughs> the first is 8313 in Ashtadhyayi and 2335 in Siddhanta Kaumadi. This is Do De Lopaha. Do De Lopaha. Dasya Lopaha Syat De Pare. Dasya Lopaha Syat De Pare. Septimi and so on. And Shashti. Dasya Lopaha. Syat te pare. There is lopa of da when da follows. Pretty straightforward. There is lopa of da when da follows. Do te lopaha. Dasya lopaha syat te pare. And the next one, oh, is here too. The next one is. 8314 in Ashtadhyayi and 173 <coughs> in Siddhanta Kaumadi. Now, it might as well just again point out, remind ourselves how, uh, although we have the greatest respect and rely on Siddhanta Kaumadi, really in the discussion of every sutra um, is part of what goes into it. Um, <coughs> This is another example of where our approach, meaning Prabhakar Shatsuti's approach, uh, is uh, so different. Uh, because uh, 8.3.13 in Ashtadhyay is followed by 8.3.14, which uh, you'll see makes sense. But uh, they are, uh, in Siddhanta Kaumadi, they are over 2,300 uh, or so, um, uh, sutras apart. So A314 is 173 in Siddhanta Kaumadi, 173. So the one we just did, A313, Tordhe Lopaha, Dasya Lopaha Sya De Pare, there is Lopa of Ta when Ta follows. A314, Rori, Rori, Anuvartahi here is Lopaha. Adhyahara is pare purvasya. So what we get is ri pare purvasya raha stane lopahasyat. Ri pare purvasya raha stane lopahasyat. Using uh, the mechanisms we're familiar with, Shashti and Saptami in particular. <laughs> so this is when rur follows in place of the preceding rur, lopa shall come. When rur follows in place of the preceding rur, lopa shall come. And we will quickly see why this is relevant to today's uh, main event. Um, Dra lope purvasya dirgonaha. Dra lope purvasya de konaha. De re lope, de re lope, pare, purvasya anaha, dirgaha. De re lope, pare, purvasya anaha, dirgaha. Sad. When that which causes lopa, when that which causes lopa of de or re follows. So now we know, thanks to our recent researches, that the one that causes lopa of de is de, and the one that causes lopa of rur is rur by 
Do Te Lopaha and Rori. So when the one that causes Lopa of De Ura follows in place of the preceding Arn, Ai Urna, Ai Urn, Dirga comes. When that which causes Lopa of De Ura follows in place of the preceding an, a i un, meaning no other aches, a i un is it, dirgha comes. So an example is lid, lid plus d becomes li plus d, meaning the pre preceding d is dropped. It gets the name lopa, dashanam lopa, it's gone. <laughs> and so the, f and then, because of today's sutra, 6.3.1.11, the dirga, dirga comes to the preceding i, a i un, so the hrasva i of li becomes dirga i, and the final form is lid, lid. Similarly, if we have punar plus ramate, <coughs> punar plus ramate, the first thing we have is we have er followed by er, so the preceding er drops. The er of punar, in particular, is the one that drops. So then we get puna plus ramate. And by today's sutra, because the one that caused the lopa of er follows, the un that precedes it, namely, um, a, uh, punar, a, uh, lhrasva, a, uh, becomes dirga. So we go puna, ramate, then puna, ramate, puna, ramate. And the only not super tricky thing is, but it's mentioned in the commentary, third, third, plus de becomes third. So there is a de following de, and that by Dode Lopaha, obediently the first one goes away, but R is not an a i un reluk. Nope, no no dice. So this uh, uh, sutra does not replace the rasva r of third with dirga r. And that's it.